guys, I wish I was making this up, but I'm not. I don't have a place to go. I'll explain how I ended up in this situation. We're moving in. First one to admit that being transparent, real, authentic, and this perfect social media streets is really hard. But since I choose to share with you guys the fabulous, fancy, glamorous, nice parts of my life, I'm gonna share with you the parts that are not necessarily like that too. So, so hey, um, I'm homeless, and how I got here is a combination of so many things hey girls welcome back to the channel <laughs> my name is rachel i just uploaded a video of me and my boyfriend hanging out you from the first time i saw ya you were not like the others a cool kind of melody somebody is moving into my apartment next week oh my god it's so real <laughs> for the most part i leave the place fully furnished for the person so they don't have to stress uh, because i'm still keeping my apartment like i'm moving yes but i'm still keeping my apartment so that when i come back from kenya i have a place to go to anyway i'm getting ready for the evening as we pack our things and all that everything is happening at the same time so i just wanted to show you guys quickly the products that i'm using on my face they're all in the fridge i keep my face products in, in the fridge Cleanser is this clinic. I'm so I'm so brand loyal. So if I like a brand, I just like it. So I'm using Clinique this forming cleanser. It's perfect. I've used it for a really long time. I like the packaging. It's kind of cute. And then once I've cleansed my face, if I want to scrub, uh, no, if I want to exfoliate, I don't use physical scrub. I prefer enzyme scrubs. This is a powder exfoliant, which is nice. This one has AHA and BHA and I don't know how I feel about that. There's a lot of mixed feelings about it. So I use it when I desperately need it. Not all the time, probably once a month or something because I don't know if it's good for me or not, but I try. Um, when I'm done, uh, normally I use double serum, Clary's double serum, but I'm out of it at the moment. So I'm trying this Kills one. Let's see how people really love kills and i'm trying it out i still don't know how i feel about it but i hear it's cracked for the skin so let's try it oh. it fell it did not break oh shoot okay it's just bubbling all right all right and then i use my night cream night cream is also from clinic and it's like super defense night cream and when i'm done with my night cream like i've locked in the when i've moisturized when I put the serum, I've moisturized, I do eye mask. Uh, and this is like a sleeping mask. You can also use it as a, as a night cream or something, but I think it's really good. And that's how simple my night routine is. And I think so far I'm loving my face. I had a little bit of a breakout. I think immediately I came back from Kenya. It was some sh crazy shift that messed up my skin a little bit. But now I think I'm, I've kind of come back to normal, which is amazing. So when it comes to skincare, I genuinely think that it's not about brands. I think it's about consistency. And if you just keep a consistent routine, most likely your skin will be all right. You rattle my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah You'll find a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah Go 
morning I have a meeting that begins <laughs> at 10 it's 9.53 and I'm just getting myself together <laughs> oh god I normally wear nothing under but I have something under this today after the meeting I have some important errands to run in the city and then after that I have another meeting at 1.30 oh my god and then later on uh Shiro will be coming over it's friday guys so i'm really that's like something i'm looking forward to i think i'm so early for my meeting it starts at 10 and i was there right it's exactly 10 now so i'm waiting for them to join yeah <laughs> oh the rest it's friday now so I'm just over here checking your Insta stories. You guys showed me so much love on my previous video. Thank you. Someone is here. Mera on the beach. Booty so big. Oh, love. How much? Hey, girls. Um, I'm going out with my girl. Well, I'm taking her on a date, actually. <laughs> on a drinking date. <laughs> she doesn't know because she's off the drinks. But yeah, I know sometimes my afro be looking hella wild. But today... Today is one of those days that I think the afro is afroing like it should and I love it. I'm here for it. Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm waiting for her. I'm ready on time. She's usually the one who's like on time but today I'm on time so I feel so special. <laughs> I got my glasses today and Shiro you have a call. Your man is calling you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my Tom Ford glasses. I love Tom Ford actually. I do. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> is it this a look? Oh my god. Yeah, they are. Nice case. It kind of looks like the Gucci case. Driving is easy when you can see 100%. I can see the signs from far. I don't miss where I need to turn. Which. Before I used to think that my sense of direction sucks, but actually it was just my eyesight that was really bad. Because today, I was planning my driving pretty well. Yeah, so that's me. And the afro is afroing. Um. Oh, maybe with the, with the ring light it's kind of funny, but you know. My mom, if she sees this, she'll be like, girl, you need to eat. <laughs> we, we, we're putting soap on your, on your neck. <laughs> this is my outfit. grab one of those eggs i feel like i i need to eat the but rachel is telling me they are made for the drinks <laughs> i think it's so obvious what i want to grab you know what i want to grab the cucumber yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're having some steam buns steam buns that's so nice and some tacos this is seafood tacos and beautiful Jen Shiro. That's my call. That's my date for tonight. Ooh, your date could never. Whoa. <laughs>
these angles don't get more weird than this, okay? It doesn't get more weird, but here we are in my basement or in the basement and basically I'm here to get some boxes Ooh. does it get darker than this <laughs> I think so I think it will get darker than it already is let me explain um <gasps> Guys, I wish I was making this up, but I'm not. I wish I was making it up. I don't have a place to go. Um, let's talk about it because I'm outside. It's raining. And I'm not trying to catch pneumonia in the process of this. So let's try to get our own place. I'll explain how I ended up in this situation. Homeless? Yes. Ugly? Could never be me. I'm moving from Sweden to Kenya and I'm just in a very weird transition process that whew, I just did not foresee so much of this coming. It's a combination of bad luck and how the system works in Sweden. So basically, um, I decided to give out my apartment, the one I live in right now, because I'm going to be in Kenya for so long and I just did not see the need to keep it when I could be renting it out for someone, make some money and also just avoid that extra expense that I don't need when I'm away and I don't know when I'm coming back. The thing is, in Sweden, getting houses is so hard and that's why I opted, instead of like completely giving back my apartment, I opted to rent it out so that just in case I come back, I don't have to go through the gruesome experience of getting an apartment. And that's why at the moment I'm homeless. So I found a place to move into temporarily. <laughs> but then last minute, the person who was giving, giving me the place, I think probably he had other people and stuff, decided to not give me the place. But then I had already like agreed with someone to move in here. And this person is moving here tomorrow. And I got the this information that I cannot move into the place I was supposed to move into yesterday. So here we are. And to be honest, I'm really stressed out about this situation because I was prepared to go live in a temporary place as I wait to go to Kenya, maybe like three weeks or so. But then there's a lot of moving parts to this that is making this process so complicated. So there's the job part, which requires me to be around Stockholm. But then there's also the fact that I wanted to go to the US before going to Kenya. And it's just recently that the US has been opened for Swedish people and you can go there from November if you are vaccinated and yeah, something like that. So we are pretty much messed up. Well, 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 it is what it is. We shall see. I think I will look at Airbnb options, which might be a little bit costly, uh, but I guess that's the only option I have now, at least for this month. Tell me, how is apartment hunting, if you're in another country, how is apartment hunting in that country compared to your home country for instance in Kenya getting a place is just money if you have money you'll get it guys we're moving in oh <laughs> uh oh it's automatic <laughs> this Chanel bag is a bad habit we were having a discussion. <laughs> There's something disturbing about moving into a man's house. <laughs> we were having the same discussion today. We were like, oh. Oh. and then I'll bring the nini. Yeah, it's the fanciness for me. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> They do that. Like uh, they go to people's homes and just organize the 
<laughs> a picture of my ass on my wall. That is some next level narcissism here. <laughs> Yes. So, like I told you, the lady that is moving here, she came with a whole professional organizer. And now all of a sudden I feel like I did not I did not do justice to this place. The lady who moved who moved into my place, I love her. I know my place will be in good hands. She is just spectacular and Oh, I'm so happy. My house smells so good. <laughs> you know when there's a woman in, it, everything all of a sudden is just like a new scent and it just smells so nice. Her thing smells so good in my house and I love that. I mean, in my apartment, I don't know how, it's like my apartment. My apartment smells so nice. And meanwhile, I'll gotta, I have to figure out where to go. And that's probably what we will do in the next vlog. Remember to subscribe. Instagram is at Rachel 8 and when I come back probably I'll have a more concrete idea on how I'm going to handle this situation because right now I'm just into the thick of it and my head is just pow it's just like it's so filled up because everything happened so quickly so fast I haven't had a moment to process so today I came out in nature and this is where I tend to clear my head and reason so I'm just gonna sit here and smell the trees <laughs> Uh, it actually feels nice just being here and thinking and I'll see you in the next vlog until then my lovely girls I love you I look, I look crazy <laughs> I promise I'll look much better next time <laughs>